Oh my days. What a game we have just witnessed in the Premier League between Everton and Watford. I'm going to jump pretty much straight to the end of this game because that is where all the drama occurred. In the 76th minute, Everton are leading Watford 2-1. to one. 77 minutes in, the Premier League, arguably the best league in the world. Everton are sitting in fourth place while this game is being played. 2-1 lead. In the 77th minute, Watford score from an incredible header to make it 2-2. I'm, I'm watching this live thinking, okay, Everton have just blown an incredible opportunity to snatch three points, to move up, the, to continue to move up the table while Manchester United see a bad form, form of results. And I'm like, oh, they're going to get the one point. It's going to be tough. 80 seconds after they equalize, Josh King makes it 3-2. I am in utter shock. Josh King takes his shirt off and runs to the corner flag to celebrate in front of the Watford fans. He even thinks it's it's that's it. That's it's over. 3-2. That's going to be the final. But was he wrong? Watford and Josh King complete the hat trick. Josh King gets the hat trick. His third goal of the game. Second goal in like three minutes. And then that's not it for Watford. Watford get a fifth. A fifth goal. The f after 90 minutes, this game finishes 5-2 to two Watford. In the 77th minute, Everton were winning 2-1. If that doesn't excite you, if that doesn't get you excited about Premier League football, I'm sorry to tell you, but there is something wrong with you. There is seriously something wrong. This is dramatic stuff. This is eye-catching stuff. This is quality football at its finest. You are not going to see this anywhere else in any other league in the world. Every week, I feel like we have an incredible comeback or an incredible performance or a late winner. We have it all in the Premier League. Last, last match week, Aston Villa blowing a 2-0 lead in the 80th minute. And now we have Everton blowing a 2-1 lead. It's not the size of the lead that Everton blew that was dramatic or significant in any way. It's the, 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 the contrast between the lead and the in the final result 2-1 versus 5-2 night and day seems like two different teams Everton just turned it off they just 77 minutes go by they thought the 90 happened they thought the 90 was over they were like oh let's just turn it off come on guys got the three points 2-1 up in the 77th minute at home no Claudio Ranieri the man who led Leicester to the greatest Premier League title run in history is back in the Premier League with Watford and only in his second game pulls up pulls off something magical something truly magnificent and truly something that you don't see happen every day I feel like we say we say that every week in the Premier League oh you don't see that every day it's true you don't see it every day but in the Premier League it seems to happen more often than not late winners comebacks incredible results shocking score lines we had Wolf Wolford lost 5-0 to Liverpool last week. And they come back and do this against a quality side. This is this is no scrub side. This is Everton Football Club. They are looking to make a push for top four. Absurd. And also today you have Chelsea winning 7-0. But the Premier League is full of surprises. It is full of goals, drama, and pretty much anything you could want out of football you get in the Premier League and more. You cannot forget about that and more because this is absurd. I was watching this game. Honestly, I had something to do after the game. So I was like, okay, Everton 2-1. They're going to just kill the game. As a, as a quality side like Everton will do, kill the team, kill the game against Watford. A team that's going to finish in the bottom half. And then Watford equalized. I'm like, okay, well, 2-2, one, one, two, two, one point for Everton, one point for Watford. They really stole one here. Oh my days. I couldn't have been more wrong. Absurd results this weekend. Joshua King really was class throughout, honestly. He was incredible. He, he bagged the first one for Watford, kept a minute throughout, and after they equalized, he, he kept pushing for, pushing for the winner. That's what I love most about the Premier League and this Watford team, this Claudio Ranieri-led Watford team. They equalized away. And instead of being like, okay, we got the point. We're going to just kill the game. They went for more. They, they sniffed blood. They sniffed vulnerability from 
Everton and snatched at the opportunity. That's what you love to see. It brings great pride to me that the teams are going for winners. They are pushing and taking risks. That was a risk. You're going to get a result against a quality side like Everton. You don't want to risk that and end up getting nothing. But the risk paid off. you got to take risks if you want to make it in this league. If you want to make it in the top tier of English football. And Claudio Ranieri knows that. He knows what he's doing. And I cannot wait to see what this Watford team does. I was not really expecting much for them this season. But after a, they had an okay start, they dropped off a little, sacked their manager, hired Ranieri. And now with Ranieri, the sky's the limit. This man takes teams up two to three spots of where they usually finish within one or two seasons. And that is incredible. He has something magical about him and his style of coaching. Him being back in the Premier League is nothing but good news. Cannot wait to see this as Watford team continues to build off this result. This is definitely a type of result that builds momentum and can flow into next match weeks and match weeks to come. But what a day in the Premier League. Only, only halfway through match week. Whatever match week this is, I don't even know at this point. But cannot wait for tomorrow's games. We have got a lot of good games coming up tomorrow. I cannot wait. I'll see you then for those games. Come on, boys.